Good morning, church. Uh, unfortunately, this morning we aren't live streaming because it's our nativity service here. Um, but I still wanted to bring us some encouragement this morning. And so uh, very briefly, I want to just uh, speak about this amazing word. It's only three letters long, and it's one that Mary, the angels, the shepherds, the magi, and ultimately all of us who believe in the Lord Jesus experience. It's this word joy. This morning we light the candle of joy and we will experience much joy as the children uh, present the nativity to us. Um, but it's a time of year which I really hope does bring us great joy. But St. Luke records um, the story of the shepherds and the angels. And uh, it says that when the angels appeared, the shepherds were afraid. But the angels said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. I wonder if the news of Jesus being born brings us that same great joy. Later on, St. Luke records that Mary is taken aback by everything that has happened. But it says in verse 19 of chapter 2, But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. I love that. It's one of my favourite verses at Christmas time, particularly that Mary treasures these things and ponders them in her heart. And I want to just encourage us at this Christmas time, particularly this year, to ponder what the birth of Jesus means to each of us. And to ask that question, do we, can we treasure this in our own hearts? This news brought such great joy to the shepherds. They were waiting for this day to come. The coming of the Messiah. God himself to redeem his people. A king to be born above all kings. And today, brothers and sisters, together because of Christ, we get to call him King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this brings us great joy. So I pray that this Christmas time, we would know and experience this joy that is found because of Christmas, because of the birth of our Lord Jesus. May you know and experience this great joy. And may I also encourage you to give it away, the free gift of Jesus, the love that he gives, the gift of his grace, and ultimately, the salvation that he offers to all who call on his name. May you be blessed this morning as you hear this very brief word. But may we know of the joy that Jesus brings. May we experience the joy that he offers us. And may we give it away to others. The free gift of his love. The knowledge of knowing who he is and what he has ultimately done for me and for you. So be blessed today. May we know of his joy. May we experience his joy. May we sing that carol together. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive the King. Praise be to God the Father, to Christ the Son, and to the Holy Spirit for how he has blessed us with the knowledge of knowing his Son Jesus. May you be filled with great joy. Let me pray for us now. Father, thank you for the joy that you bring, the joy that we experience because of Jesus through your son, the greatest gift ever given for us on this Christmas day. As we lead up to the season, may we remember the reason that we celebrate the season. Christ given for us, the greatest gift. May we know of the joy, experience the joy that the shepherds experienced, that Mary had around her because of Jesus. May we be able to sing those words, joy to the world because the Lord has come. So bless us, I pray, Lord. 
May we know of this joy. May we experience this joy even in times of difficulty. You are always with us. You never leave us nor forsake us. And we can join with a heavenly host and sing joy to the world. Because you have come for each of us. Bless us today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you today, church. And uh, don't forget, next week, the 24th, Sunday morning, we'll be having our carol service at 10.30. Hopefully you can join us. If not, hopefully see you on Monday, Christmas Day, where we'll be celebrating together the birth of our Lord Jesus. If we aren't able to see you, God bless you this Christmas season, and hopefully we will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.